Hey what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm just going to be comparing the shell and uh, some MongoDB drivers. So why are we using the shell in this course? Well I don't know what programming language you are using and what programming language you will be using to connect your MongoDB database. So using the shell just gives us a universal approach to this and using the shell is almost identical to using the drivers. The syntax just differs from programming language to programming language. So if you're using Node.js, it would be very similar to the shell because MongoDB shell is actually built up on, on, on um, a JavaScript interpreter. So it would look very similar, but if you are using other programming languages like Python or Java, the syntax may look different, but structuring and using your MongoDB queries and your insert statements and so forth works exactly the same way. So I'm just going to dive into the docs a bit here, just quickly, just to show you exactly how to use them. These documentations are really, really well um, put out and they read easy and they have video tutorials under certain sections and courses you can take. So I'd really recommend diving into the documentations to um, learn more about MongoDB and your specific programming language. So first, let's start off here. We can see the different services MongoDB provides us, the cloud service, MongoDB Atlas. This is really popular and we'll be using this in the end of our course to build a little project. And here we have um, self-managed database. So this is the shell we are currently using. Then we have this connect your applications tab. Uh, then we have MongoDB Compass, which is just the UI tool to view your data. We have MongoDB charts, which gives you um, visual representations of your data. Then we have uh, MongoDB Realm, which is almost like uh, AWS, Lambda, and those type of things. So let's dive into this tab over here where we can see more about the MongoDB server and the MongoDB shell. So here you can read up more about the MongoDB shell. It shows you introduction of how to switch databases, populate collections, select all documents, specify different matches, and so forth. The documentations are put out really well, as I mentioned before. We have the installation, how to install for each one of the operating systems. Then we can read up more about the MongoDB shell, how to download the shell, um, how to set uh, certain configurations on the shell, for example, specifying a different port than our normal local host port, and a lot of different things. We can go here under the basic CRUD operations, and I would be, this course is basically going to cover this tab over here. We will be looking at the insert documents, the querying of documents, updating, deleting, and all of these fun stuff over here. So then we have the aggregation framework. So these things stay the same no matter what driver you're using. The concepts you learn here stays exactly the same. So example, here's some video you can watch about how the aggregation framework work, works and so forth. Okay, so if I were to go back to the docs home, here we can go on to, to connect your application tab. And here we will find all of the different drivers MongoDB support. So for the programming languages C, C++, C Sharp, Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, Rust, Scala, Swift. So it has a big, it has a big range of programming languages it supports. So if I go under the Node.js um, tab, we can see a lot of things, the quick startup, fundamentals, usage examples, API documentation, and it's really, really well put out. And the amazing thing is you get this course. You can say, take a free online course taught by MongoDB, and this shows you MongoDB for JavaScript developers. So if I were to go back and go to Java, we can see they have a specific course for Java developers. So this just is amazing documentations. It shows you all of the basic. If we check the installation, it would show us how to connect our application, our Java application to a MongoDB Atlas server. And this would be exactly the same when we're using our local setup. We'll just have a different URI string over here. So this is really, really nice. And this is mainly the reason we will be using 
the MongoDB shell is it's just more universal and whatever I'm teaching you in the shell is applicable in the drivers as well. So just another quick thing I want to look at for example if you were to go to the Python documentation it says here Py Mongo is recommended way to work with MongoDB for Python so here I have w3schools dot com open for Mongo, uh, MongoDB and Python and here we can just look at some of the syntax so if I were to go next over here it would say create a database and it shows you how to create a database in using Python and then you can look at how to insert a document so we've done this before we can see the syntax insert underscore one the idea is basically exactly the same this my dict is basically just some object with key value pairs or field value pairs that we pass to the insert one command if you want to find something we can see that it's find one and then um, we pass it some collection we are looking at my collection so this is all universal no matter what programming language you are using and then another popular thing that is used is the mongoose ODM for MongoDB so this is built on the MongoDB driver for Node.js this documentation is also really well put together this just helps with scheme, writing better schema so if you can look here it says writing MongoDB validation so there we, we wrote schema validations mongoose just makes this more elegant it makes it easier working with um, schema validations and so forth so if we take a look at the queries i just want to show you how find would work for example we have find which is exactly the same as we are taught inside of the shell and the documentations are really well put out it tells you the parameters how projection would work and so forth so we'll be taking a look at all of these individual concepts in this course um, by using the shell so i really hope you found this video helpful and then i will see you guys in the upcoming videos cheers